Hey everybody, Sergio with the Rideshare Guy. Truly, truly, I am amazed, shocked, disappointed that I have to now, in 2024, do rideshare trips. Basically, pick up a human, half a mile or a mile away, and drop them off a mile or a mile away, somewhere that, you know in that range, minimum fare trips basically, for three single dollars in a car, okay? While gas prices in California are hitting six again. The point is, in 2015, I did hundreds of these three dollar trips. In fact, in 2016, when I joined Uber, the minimum fare on Uber was three dollars and 75 cents. Fast forward to 2024, eight years later, and we know what's happening with inflation. We know what's happening to uh, maintain our cars. Everything has doubled or tripled, including insurance, including tires, oil changes, maintenance, all of that. Now Uber has the balls to lower the minimum fares to $3. I received three in a row on Saturday with the tag exclusive on it before I rejected it and they all went to trip radar probably to die. But again, the point is, how is it economically possible to do $3 trips in 2024 with absolutely no incentives? Now, if I had a quest that I did in 2016, which were like, do 100 trips this week, Serge? You'll get another $600. You get another $700. I couldn't do enough of those garbage trips. Why? Because then it becomes a $10 trip. In 2024, where we all know what has happened with quests and ride challenges, okay? They don't exist. They either lowered them or they completely have eliminated them. I haven't had a quest from Uber for weeks now. I had one a few weeks ago on Lyft, which I finished. $3 trips are not sustainable, Uber and Lyft. I mean, look, I'm so tired of ranting. I want to give you guys some good news. How is $3 sustainable in 2024? You all can say, hey, just decline it. And that's exactly what I did. But I want to know what is the minimum fare in your city. Have they lowered it? Because Uber definitely has. It used to be three seventy-five. Now we're at three even, and I got these three dollar these orders right here, three in a row. I got them exactly at three bucks. Yes, they're a one mile pickup, one mile drop off, or you know, it's going to last about ten minutes in total, right? Okay, how many ten minutes are in a sixty-minute period? Six, right? What is six times three? If I did nonstop of these three dollar orders. That's 18 bucks, right? Before expenses. Where is the 32 before expenses? The nationwide, you know, right? We, we keep hearing about that garbage number over and over. But again, the point I'm trying to make is, please tell me in the comments below, what is the minimum fare in your city is? And are you doing these trips? Because what's happening is that these garbage trips are showing up as exclusive to me. Thanks, Uber. Much appreciated. I decline. Then they go to Trip Radar. Then they get snapped up by some fool, by some desperado. How? Why? Right? How is it that I, ha I, can, I have to pick up a human in my car and drop him off for $3? Three. I can even buy a pack of gum with $3. Anyway, so a little bit about business. Three reminders. Please jo go join our newsletter or subscribe to our new letter, newsletter. It's free, www.therightshareguy.com. Every Tuesday, join us on Show Me The Money Club, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And some of you, I need your support, people. Some of you may know, I have a new channel, at Sergio Avedin on YouTube. It's not about rideshare, it's not about gig economy. What it is about is finance and trading. And maybe I can get you guys off this Uber and Lyft hamster wheel and teaching you some, some ideas or teaching you about investing and trading. As you may know, I have 30 plus years of experience and 25 of it on Wall Street. So I know this 
I know finance, I know trading 10 times more than I know right share, but I enjoy right share. But I definitely don't enjoy doing $3 trips in 2024. So with that said, stay healthy and be safe out there.